Hello everyone, it's that time again and we'll be doing another question and answer from you guys in YouTube. I don't wanna lie or do like a failed promise thing, but we don't have any ideas yet. We do, I do have ideas, like I can already like come up, I already know some of the funny ideas that I could, we could put in the games, but the problem is um, our team has been small. We had a previous programmer that is working especially on events. He made the Sweetheart event and it was really amazing. He is a really great programmer. I hope, I wish him the best. Um, but sadly we parted ways. That happens a lot in the development side or the inside. Uh, the, a lot of people that's been in Omori or the vocal game has been kind of on and off. I have a list on it back then and I'm not gonna list them right now. <laughs> I'm not gonna like look at all these people who like left me. Um, they have reasons and I do understand them. Like if they don't want to work then don't because why would I force you? That's just you know that's just that's not good. <laughs> I guess I could also use this opportunity to thank again our people or the team that we have that are still here with us. Uh, and like you know, um, wasting their time. <laughs> not not wait. That sounds bad. But like, you know, working with us and making sure that we are still, you know, on the game. We're still updating the game. Without them, honestly, I don't think there will be that one more game. I could easily find a programmer that does specialize in. When I meant specialize in events, meaning they only focus on that branch. I have been having a lot of trust issues lately and I'm not gonna go delve further from it but I it's better to to know someone and then be friends with them instead of just you know just having them just as a workmate. I don't I don't ever want that. I want if someone's working on my game I want to get to know with them. I want to be friends with them. I want to help them. So so yeah.
the silly experiment update when we need more lore. I don't know if you added the lore one, but there is some lore that I wrote in the silly experiment update or like just the silly experiment in general. I mean, there's a lot of questions there. I'm glad there's still people that do like want to know about it. It's, it's, it makes me excited, which I never felt <laughs> in a while. Uh, there is a lot of, um, I have a lot of lore or ideas for this silly experiment because there's a lot of questions honestly and I'm not gonna explain the lore to you guys but um there's a lot of like questions like what why why in an abandoned lab who are we like you know we we just spawned inside the lab are we also furries secretly furries I'm not a furry okay I just wanna say that um there's a lot of questions that needs to be asked in the silly experiment update and I do have a really great game idea like a really great game idea but sadly we can't focus on it um we can't really focus on it since again as I told you guys we are already busy working on two things two games and um I would really love to come back into that idea in the future don't worry once if we have time uh we could probably update the silly experiment but um for, but for now we have to uh shelve it i don't know just stop updating it i'm really sorry but the game is functional so you guys can still play it it's just sad and i know i'm sorry what happens if you say you don't like babel in front of a babel cult i don't know i'll probably get like executed <laughs> on the spot Ta -da! <laughs> you better show something right now on the screen <laughs> Um, we haven't really added a new thing for like a lot of months. You could really say like it it uh the amount of updates that we got in that one more game has really like went primp ever since uh 2024 showed up and I'm I'm very sorry about it. I don't like it at all. But we did have some small updates, we added a lot of things, even like even some small things and it's because we've been working on last resort i think it's already obvious what's gonna be the next update is and i'm excited and that is gonna be our newest location ever i think for like i don't know for like months of nothing new there is new mores but like after this we have we could immediately make more small updates and i am excited i'm excited on this a uh, big update that we're gonna have because no one has ever made last resort before in vr chat or anything anywhere I, I guess in minecraft you could but um i'm excited because people have been asking about this and no one ever thought of adding it and i'm i am excited to say that last resort deep well is coming but with some limitations when i meant limitations you could still access most of the map but the caves are not there some of the things some of the rooms are not there, like you can't enter some rooms, but the main stuff is in there. And why do we do this? There's a lot of reasons, and I think I should I could just say a simple reason that is uh, I don't think we, we need to do it. Like for example, this hotel, I mean, uh, what do you call it, last resort room where there's beds. Um, do I really need to make that? I, I feel scared thinking about like about that anyways like again there's a lot of freaky people in the game and do i really need to give this option to them but i do get your point again like i and don't worry hopefully in the future we could add more rooms uh on it and it's just a lot of like it's i know it's like the full picture but some there's some holes into it and don't worry we will add them but my my honest reason is i just don't think we need them you know i'm very sorry um we do we will add some of them like important things um but we added what we think is already important uh that's in last resort or deep well and also the old ones are fully ready i mean the old ones you do have a point other world looks a bit weird um, vast forest is not even complete like you could even say like that doesn't even look like vast forest but those are like reimagined um yes you have basil's house but the whole vast forest is like a mess like you can go up and then you there's like this hills and stuff like that but what is that um 
I just want to make the map smaller. Not smaller, but like I don't want to make it too accurate. Yes, you can do accurate things, but I do have a different opinion and I hope you respect that. And I want to make everything not compact, but everything there. Okay, and yes, I'm very sorry, not everything is in there. In the, you know, vast forest and a lot of stuff like faraway town. Um, but we are improving old maps. One of it is faraway town. And I'm really excited about that. We are very close on completing faraway town. We already finished last resort and just need programming. So... We're already like advancing, like we already know what updates to show, like the next update, it could probably be the new Faraway Town, which is I'm excited about because I don't like how Faraway Town looks like today. It looks very old and, you know, like, there's a lot of people playing and obviously you need to better the experience. They are the ones playing the game after all, and I don't like how Faraway Town looks like. So. So you will see more improved stuff in the future, but also some new stuff in the future. So yeah. I don't know if this is gonna be out before the, um, what do you call it, the update, but in the update we have with Last Resort, there are two big things. One is Last Resort, and the second one is this one thing that I just can't say. But it, it does relate to some of your requests. Okay, I, I I don't know if this is gonna be, is if it's gonna be there. Okay, but I'll give you guys an update. Like you know, update Hanny will show up here if it did got added, and I'll explain it. But um, but uh, I'm ex I'm really excited about this new update. Anyway, I will support the project any form because the work you have done is worth your my of reward. Ah, oh, thank you. You guys are the ones who support. Okay, it's not you don't. <laughs> I don't need this. I don't deserve this. <laughs> I'm sorry, but no, <laughs> I I don't want to add any shrines in the. We did make a joke shrine in the Mary Mary shrine, I think, in the test room. But like, um, it's real, guys. I'm aging. <laughs> I am, I am considering the game as a more serious thing, just like more sandbox, and not just like. I mean, yes, the jokes are still there, but like, things have changed. It's been two years and I've started leaning more on more serious roleplay hangout type things or like you know really like being in an Amori place than you know shits and giggles but don't worry I'm still here you know like there's a lot of funny stuff that is added like Hector something like you know a rock I mean we have other meme updates also that I would love to show but we can't because it's top secret. <laughs> uh, hello. Cereal before milk. Probably the... The Omori, the basil one. Sunflower, what do you call it? Omori... Ha home... Homes... Is it like homes? I swear the the first thing is it, it, it's you know ten 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 ten. I I think it it's see you tomorrow. I think yeah it's see it's see you tomorrow. Sorry, I was playing it. My favorite Omori soundtrack is see you tomorrow because it's a really emotional song for me, I guess. And I remember playing the game and I just hear it and I'm almost nearly cried. And I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people cried while playing Amori, but I kept it in. <laughs> but um, I will never forget one of that song. It's it's a really great song. Um, uh, it's just emotional. Whenever I hear it, it, feel, it makes me feel it makes me feel happy and sad at the same time, which is which is you know really something, something, something. I don't really know or any have experience in tuning vocaloids. I like their songs, but never became like more research thingy on it. But um, uh, I could tell you a story how I like Len, which is you know before I played Project Diva on the PSP emulator, 
Oh no, please don't. Please don't make me jail. I played Project Diva, the PSP version, and um, I really like the Miku songs. And then um, Rin module got unlocked, and I was like, oh, well, I like Rin now. And Rin, I was like, oh, this is so cool. I love the songs. And then it showed up. <laughs> Len showed up <laughs> and then it changed. You could say that Rin and Meku have different voices but they in some sometimes they do have like similar things. In in Len it's you know he says banana as banana. So you know you, you now you know why I like Len. I love saying this story because it really sounds like a um uh it really sounds like a success story or something from a book but it, it, you won't believe it, but it was a joke. It was a joke game named Push Mad on the Stairs. I played Omori, I finished Omori, and we went, me and my friend, uh, played um, uh, Search Omori in Roblox, and we saw Push Mad on the Stairs and Omori Sandbox. Um, when I played Push Mad on the Stairs, it's a natural game. All I see is just this giant ball and this weird looking stairs, and then there's kazoo music playing my time in the background and it's just a mess and I'm like why did someone actually do an actual joke where you push Mary you could even do it like as a cash grab that's really my mind back then but obviously I didn't do it because <laughs> come on that I, I have a lot of respect on Omocat but um people played it I kept seeing the visits go up and up again it's not like up immediately like that one Vocaloid had um I just kept saying the visits went from 50 or to you know 60 to 70 and small things like that makes me already like so excited for what's gonna happen and I'm really excited um so that's why I kept uploading or updating the game more and more I'm sorry for the dogs barking I I kept updating the game adding more stuff into it and it was a mess it's just I want to make I want to make you know all these things like I, I want to make Sunny's downstairs. I want to make a uh, vest for us and stuff like that. I want to add some items, uh, and you know, people played it, and it all changed when I am really starting to look for a programmer because that's a big changer, game changer. I go and use Open Scripts and Toolbox to go and you know find like the the button that makes a part fall down or something like that or like makes it un uncolloidable like it's basically like a button that makes that spawns a part and I changed that part into Mary and um I was like I think there's more into this game I would have never really thought that we would be bigger than Omori Sandbox I would if you tell that to me like two years ago I would not believe you because as much as I do enjoy the game back then, I was hopeless. I didn't really have any hope for it. Like, it's just gonna be a one-time thing. But now it became a thing that people remember, uh, know me. And I'm really grateful for it. That's why I kept updating the game. I don't want to abandon it just yet. I want to abandon it when it's done. Or I have a reason to. Or, you know, I don't feel like working it. But come on, if you have a lot of people supporting you and literally the reason why you're here right now, do you really want to move on to something else? Yes, I have Vocaloid game, but I will never forget what, you know, I will never forget my original roots are. So, you know, I'm really grateful for you guys. It was originally a maid cafe, but people, some people in our, uh, but some people said like it's a bit creepy because you know it's a maid thing, and I was like, okay, I don't really care. So I removed all the images that are like maid images. It was, I mean, I, I mean, I don't really like giving my own opinions and things, but like, see, yes, you, you can say it's weird. You can other people can say it, it's not weird, but like literally Japan has its own maid cafe. But um, I removed it because, you know, it, it does feel a bit weird just being like, just going jumping into some paintings and then you see that 
there's just a whole maid cafe under Sonny's house. Uh, uh, I mean, un I mean, not under Sonny's house, inside the walls of Sonny's house. It's it does feels a bit random, but like I think the maid cafe is a good joke, but nah, you know, just nah, just nah. People will find so many things to get angry about, and I just removed the maid cafe thing, uh, so. They don't get angry. I'm a people pleaser, which is hard, and I don't like it. Hmm. I mean, you could play as Len. Um, we could play as Len in that one folklore game, not as Nikito. <laughs> I'm sorry. No Globe Mountain is a really cool location. I never actually went there in the game because I mainly focus on the story itself but I was but I know how it looks like and it looks really snow globe snow globe, snow globe <laughs> stunk twister snow globe mountain is, is a really good location it's a snow globe, snow globe the mountain it's a really good location it, it looks really nice and it would be fun if we added it in like you know winter or something or what am I saying? There's no snow in my country. There's there's no winter. But you know, in Christmas, imagine we have snow mountain. It's a it's a good idea. I I wanted to make it. I I don't have any thoughts on black space yet. Uh, it just feels like we have other things to do other than black space. I could if we if I have another programmer, they could focus mainly on black space because I feel like black space is mainly about black. Space stuff that doesn't make sense I meant programmer sorry it it really relies a lot on programmer side of things on how it will work um, how to make it look more unsettling and stuff like that and yeah <laughs> um, I did try to reach out on some people that tried to make black space in Roblox before last year uh, tried to friending them in just in case they know me you know it's me the famous Antlin <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I never really had any, yeah. Uh, hmm. Pet Mewo? I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, I could say another paragraph about like how um we update the game and we we tested it and it seems fine and then a bunch of bugs showed up and it's a mess you know like my programmers already getting over like you know uh <laughs> overwhelmed about it but um it's whenever we have a new update we do have a lot of bugs and um at the time of recording this and maybe there's an early comment from someone we already fixed the most actual serious issue that we have in the game which is the new render regions that we have which is faster yes you could say it's not faster in your thing but i asked and talked to many people about it and it does work for them it is faster for them okay so it does work it's just some it, it's, it's a difference i think people need to remember that not i'm not just catering to one person it's to everyone and everyone has different opinions so it's hard really like is this really a bug is this really like you know is this really like happening in the game because i don't see it is this just an internet issue uh, there is a lot of bugs or a lot of like um weird tug tug experiences when you have like a slow internet so i'm very sorry about that it's a big game i'm really sorry but um i think tug is already like if you I don't know what are you trying to say about fixing to accessibility. Um, like we added a new sub menu now by pressing X. If you do, if you did play Omori, you know if you press X, items, stuff like that. And we even added a tutorial for new players that you know pressing X or clicking the button will you know show the sub menu. So so yeah. Um, I'm. It's just to spread the message, you guys. We have an easier way now to do the sub uh, to do the sub menu. Uh, we read it. We read it on a stream called development meeting. Um, it's a really fun stream. 
because you just go read honestly people saying cool game cool game cool game and then there's just a long par sentence that they really put their time writing it it warms my heart every time and yes there is some weird stuff for out of the ordinary stuff that is sh uh, going in the forums because they don't have anything to do and they just put in attention. Some people would put the N word, some people would put some silly things. There are a lot of weird stuff and out of the ordinary stuff. You would see that in the stream, but I don't really just give attention. <laughs> like, yes, I just move on. Yeah, they did the silly, so I can't do anything about it. Oh yeah, is this the same person that said something? Sorry about like, I don't know. I I saw this. I saw a similar person saying about this. Um, like saying like, um, wh why am I in a Christmas hat? I'm religious or something. I'm very sorry about that. I don't really know any other's religion. Uh, but um, I'm very sorry to make you wear forcefully the Christmas hat. Don't worry. If it's gonna, uh, if we're gonna have another Christmas set in the future, we'll definitely remove it because uh, it, it, the Christmas set has been around in January as well, and I don't like it. We have another. Uh, we added a new one. It's the principal's office, and we are constantly uh, focusing also me uh, on more builds for that one vocal game because um, we already have some finished things in Omori. No, I don't want that. I really don't want that. Yes, you could, um, that is a good idea. You could say, like, buying a gold basil for 1,000 Robux. <laughs> I don't want to have a specific character, you know, that is locked behind a paywall. Either it's an event, exclusive event only, that you should be there, but no. We do have a similar approach on this though, that still doesn't require game passes. Or anything that needs you to grind or anyway because I am really serious when it comes to people grinding the game and like you know cash grab games yes you could make the game a cash grab game but we're talking about Omori here I have a lot of respect um, as I said earlier uh, I, I'm really thankful for Omori like you know because it's a more fan game I don't want to like just go make my own money be because of this game uh, that was not the main point okay i don't want to earn more money <laughs> i don't want to earn more money be you know maximize profits because i don't even own more in the first place um i think you should have some respect and not think about game passes uh or other thing or like you know leaving things in a paywall uh like actual robux okay but we do have a similar idea that may show up in some other time but it's not characters it's edible stuff that you could do in your characters and that's different okay and I'm ex it's not a paywall I, I need to remind you again it's not a paywall it's something different that I can explain in the future it's not a paywall you don't need to pay robux you don't need to grind it's just something special okay how many badges are in the game I think it was like a hundred plus I remember we like we. Lo I remember we did like try to write stuff on it. Uh, I mean, or count it. It was like a hundred six or something like that. It was a lot. I'm not really that sad anymore because I'm very tired. I don't really know about this. We're not even at the part where we're working on Humphrey, but. Uh, slime curse has always been a difficult thing. People ask it, and I'm like. I mean, look at Slime Girls. <laughs> Do you really think Roblox would allow that? <laughs> I I don't. I'm sorry. You know, like maybe if we remove it, it's it's possible. But you know, again, we're not in Humphrey yet, so I'm sorry. People reported in our Discord server uh, to the point where it's my usual. A uh, morning <laughs> or like you know every time I wake up go to my computer ban some people because I get reports and it doesn't really bother me um, again it's my game so I should be responsible if there's any some weird stuff but obviously when the game gets too big okay like for example let's say 
uh, the game not having like I mean the game having like a million visits or a million people playing that's really hard or maybe even impossible to get rid of there will always be exploiters and cheaters and the best thing is to report them or have a specific system on them but honestly we witness a lot bypassers bypassing words exploiters stuff like this and that and the main thing really is it's not really a problem to begin with it's roblox roblox should be the one who's implementing strong security stuff in our games that's why we pay the roblox tax right <laughs> we paid the cut so you know um they should be but roblox is working on something i'm not like a whole roblox youtuber saying roblox is the worst game or roblox is dying or something like that i'm not gonna do that um roblox has been doing a lot of things as well on security things such as making their ban api and we're, we're, we're using that we're using that in both games and it does work um it's a it's really a good thing and also we did plan to have email verification in that one vocal game but too many people got angry and i was like oh i thought it's easy to make an you know email and then verify yourself but there are some people there that do have some strong points so we just made it so it's 30 days old like your account must be older than 30 days <laughs> that made me like that made me hurt inside <laughs> um <laughs> and because all locations that's a lot i don't know how long it will take but it's definitely not this year uh it we could even say it's years but we don't know yet see we don't know like we don't know honestly always go with i like what i am right now some people know me a bit and that's fine i don't want to be super duper popular because if you're very popular especially on the internet oh my god some people are there to just look like to see some mistakes or always try to find something to hate on about yourself and um honestly i don't want to be in a center of, of attention about you know a stupid drama so i don't want to be a super super duper popular and if i if i am i want to stay i want to stay and act civil i don't know how they say it but like if you're a very popular person i don't want to give like any opinions here maybe an opinion or maybe like a tip for myself in the future but like even today or like if you're super duper popular you are an influencer you influence this people young people old people older than you all younger than you you influence them and you need and that's a big thing that's a big big responsibility you should never influence any harassment or fight or anything like that or even focus on drama we're on the internet because we want to get out in reality again in our real life we are so stressed and something like that and i don't want to stress any other of you guys especially when a lot of the members or the people that i've seen played that one or more game have serious mental issues um if i became super popular i i don't really want to say any opinions because if you say any kind of opinion some people would get angry because you know they have different things i like being at where i am it's kind of chill it's it's fine i'm doing what i can um i, do, I can do whatever what stuff i do you know um i still have some privacy and you know not it's not really i'm not really that popular okay i think we just need to admit it okay i just make videos or games and i want to focus on that okay um i do do some streams but it's because i love streaming i and i always wanted to be a youtuber but at the end of the day i realized i don't really want to be a youtuber anymore i'm sorry for a long paragraph on that um you again you could disagree on that but please um you know uh, so being so don't 
I don't want to be a super duper popular person. A super duper 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 popular person. A super 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 duper. I, I'm not Omo Cat. <laughs> I don't really know anything about Genshin. Yes, I did play Genshin, and there's some lore stuff in the stream about me and Venti. But um, uh, uh, um, I don't really know. I mean, I like my team in Genshin. I forgot my team already. <laughs> but um. I don't really know. Help me, guys. Wait, what do you think I would use? Like, what do you guys think what character I would use? Um, if you're trying to say like the Pluto space line, I don't really think we could add cars. Um, because it's kind of a tricky thing. If we added cars mainly for Fari Town, people would use it outside Fari Town. And you know, there's a lot of people who love to take advantage and try to break stuff using that. So I don't think so. We, I, it needs it clearly. It clearly needs more planning. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what is meme squad, but um, Pico is already made. It's gonna be added in the game. Amazing, right? Yeah. We had an update. With some morphs, amazing. Uh, yeah, I'm excited. We, ha we, it's mostly most of them are just visit updates. I could get your concern or like I do say a lot. <laughs> I say a lot of concern now, <laughs> but like we do have an actual update that we're working on. Uh, but it's just you know we because of so many people playing, we want to like just upload it whenever we reach this goal. So, but we are working on it. Okay, we're working on rooms and other stuff. I already said it. We have a probably revamp. Well, I want to nominate these awesome people. Okay, including to be free for the best dev ever. Especially to be free worked on the silly experiment. You worked with the Silk Experiment map, and the Silk Experiment map is really good. It's amazing. You guys are all amazing. Uh, thank you guys. You guys are the most important people in the game. Thank you. <laughs> like, like, how, what, like, are you thinking, like, why, like, why would you make watermelon? Did you, like, go at, like, 3 a.m. and say, like, you know what, we're gonna make a watermelon morph? Well, it was actually an, a plan that we have, or an idea called meme morphs. We have the bootleg basil and omori morph, and then we have the watermelon, and then we have the kel as, you know, Saul Goodman. And then we have the Mary Ball. It's a meme set. It's a meme morph set. So, you know, it's funny. We actually have an unused watermelon emote or something where the watermelon is. But we never added it, so I'm sorry. Cats! 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 I mean, look at me. I have, I have my own Mevo. No, I'm sorry. We will not add some leaderboards because, um, I mean, the leaderboards are still there, but I don't know if it's even, like, functional. But, we don't have plans to add leaderboards that I'm not gonna give you guys any more fuel just to spend and grind my game. Yes, sure, you can spend that and, you know, um, waste your time by just standing there or, like, always farming Marys, but in the end of the day, no one really cares, so I'm sorry. I'm not gonna add the leaderboard. I don't really think it should be in the game. It's a roleplay game. You should not think about stats and flexing and stuff like that. Is it time really to to like actually give my thought, my serious answer for that? I don't really know what reason to say to give you. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people, like gay people or people in the lgbtq plus community and then you could ask them like why are you this i find men attractive i find i find girls attractive uh it's just a thing you know i i, I like <laughs> i'm not a boy kisser people judging based on their sexuality is 
it's a really hard hot topic and I'm not an expert in that but my saying is that it's stupid because it's not like I'm even attracted to in the first place <laughs> like I'm attracted to to like mm, mm, he, fine I get I find fanboys cute okay but you're not a fanboy so who cares <laughs> why am I bisexual because I am that was a weird last question if you guys want to see um if you guys want to ask me or something or want to support me on something more if you want to um we do have a land stream <laughs> we do have do we do land streams um every now and then we do like in we usually do it in mondays friday to saturday and sunday and sometimes uh thursday and um and you know we stream a bunch of crazy things so yeah just gonna be, I just want to say though that it's uh it's it's 13 plus I feel like I need to say that um but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed today's Q and A and um if you have any more questions you can comment out below with the headphone thank you.